You are now tuned in to Mark, Mark After Dark. After Dark. What's up, guys? Lamarck After Dark, episode three, uh, rap shit, because we have a rapper on the show, Mr. Stash Cash. Welcome to Lamarck After Dark. What's going on, Lamarck? Thanks for having me. No problem. I feel like we haven't really chopped it up. It's been a minute. Like, you was on the Fresh Movement, what, two years ago? Yeah, that was about two years ago. Damn, so much has changed. So much has changed. So what's going on with you? Let's let's start there. I'm, I'm working, man. I got a new project coming out, Um, working on throwing different events, you know, just creating different type of content. You know, just getting getting more out there. You know, how has that been? It's been a journey. It's been it's been work. You know, what I'm saying, trying to just do different things, trying to become a better artist, step outside of my comfort zone a little bit, and you know, just connect with the people more. So, for people that haven't you know known about you, how long have you been rapping? I've been rapping for over ten years. Oof, yeah, shit, for over ten years, I've been doing it for a little minute. So, yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a while. What can you say, like the positive and the negative of being a rapper? In today's society hmm the positive you know the positive is you're able to put your work out there without the record labels and you know just being able to create and do things by yourself and also you know make money independently easier than how it was before but you know the negative aspect of it is you know be doing it by yourself it's hard to get to get certain things done and certain connections when you're an independent artist so it's a gift and a curse to it. Would you ever want to be signed? Or are you like you cool with the independent route? At first, I wanted to get signed. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a space where it's like, nah, I'm I'm, I'm seeing my growth mm -hmm. and I'm I'm appreciating how I'm going. So I'm like, I, I feel like I could do this thing by myself. I mean, I definitely see you been grinding. I definitely see you on like the Times Square doing the videos. Yeah. That's that's very creative. Like, what made you want to start doing stuff like that? Like I said, like creating content. You know, I wanted to um connect with the people more and you know, everybody's doing things like music videos and, you know, things that's on like a high profile type of wave. I just wanted to just create things where it's like I can let people know, like, listen, you don't need to have a big budget to create content. You could do it from the home of your phone, you know what I'm saying, and just make things happen. And then also things like social media, like Instagram and stuff like I, like I said earlier, like I'm able to make money off of the social media platform. You can make money just by creating content off your phone. Yeah, for like for sure. I mean, you have to have like some type of a following, mm -hmm. but you could definitely create some definitely dumb, dumb ass content. Right. Also, you can curse on this. This is a podcast. Oh, okay. I like it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you you, you could it. definitely curse. I mean, this is definitely a new lane for me per se. But you know, I did with a dab with the rap a little bit. Um, right. it wasn't. I was just trying to just have fun with it. Okay. And then I got a lot of backlash, so I stopped <laughs> because um people are fucking mean, and I wasn't really trying to rap. Like I was just trying to have a good time. Have a good time. It was more so at rappers club, like doing podcasts. Like you guys do podcasts. Right. I would do I'm a rap, but don't it let, didn't. Um, don't let don't let them stop you though. Know, it wasn't you know it wasn't that. It just it was a lot, and I was like you know what, fuck this. I don't do this like that anyway. So <laughs> it was what it was. Um, but I definitely appreciate you know your visuals. You were in the bathtub. Explain that oh, man. to me. What what made you want to get in the tub? All right, so yeah, that was on that was on the cover of my Vibe with Me Too project, and that was something where it's like you know I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. You know, being that the project was mainly towards the ladies, my mm -hmm. own creative director was like she wanted to go more of the sexy look, mm -hmm. and you know take the shirt off, show my tats, and all that type of stuff. So it was like you know what, let's 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 do it. Why not? Okay. I mean, I, well, hey, hey, man, I definitely feel like you have been the artist that you don't give me any vibes. Like, you kind of like your fan base is everybody. Like, you know, you kind of for everyone. So, right. I feel like that's really fucking dope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, question of the night Do you think rap is evolving in a positive or a negative way? And why? Mm, I feel like it's, it's, it's both. Like, you know, the, I'm not. Yeah, I say it's both because we have a lot of me. I'm a father now. So, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm really. Congratulations. Close. Thank you. I've been I'm I'm really cautious of what my my son listened to and I, I I'm I'm noticing he's into the the drill mm -hmm. type of music which I don't have nothing against it but it's like I see how it's uh how it's influencing him so sometimes me as a parent have to be like hey yo all right relax cut that off because right. you know what I'm saying but on a on a on a bright side of things is it's good cuz you know these young artists is having fun and they able to express themselves in a way where it's like you know 
other people can relate and you know they do what they do so it's a gift and a curse to it but i guess off the negative side is just me being a parent and looking at my 10 year old like yo listen i right, cut that off relax i feel <laughs> that do you feel like it's going in more in a violent thing or do you feel like it's always been violent nah hip-hop is, is is always been violent you know it's just that now that social media is here we see it more. Mm -hmm. yeah you feel me that but it's always been violent you see the death of tupac and biggie since like the early stages you right know what i'm saying so it's always been it's just that we got social media more now so we could see it um i guess i guess my next thought i guess the question is i've always been a fan of somewhat hip-hop mm -hmm. but i also felt like being gay it wasn't as celebrated right in a sense and i feel like well i guess because you being an artist but you're you know you're, you're definitely straight um right how do you do you like do you do you feel like it's a lot of homosexuality in rap as far as not homosexuality homophobic tendencies in rap or do you feel like the culture is more accepting now i mean i, I feel like um i feel like it's more accepting the culture is more accepting now and um a lot of a lot of rappers is coming out you feel me they mm -hmm. they, they becoming more comfortable with you know they preference and stuff like that and it's i feel like it's, it's nothing wrong with that i feel like you know hip-hop is evolving i feel like it's for everybody See, that's why I want to rap, but it, like, they, they, <laughs> like they wasn't, it wasn't. I mean, look, I there's a lot of people that I feel like should come out, but that's a whole other conversation for another <laughs> show, and I'm not gonna do that because I'm that's one of my things to never like expose somebody, right? But um, maybe my book, maybe my fucking <laughs> book. Um, but yeah, back to the violence and rap culture. I um, I just want people to, you know, the whole violence shit is just not it. I mean, we could rap about whatever you want to rap about, right. but I just feel like when it gets to like really to like the guns and like we now be killing people for real, for real, like that shit is kind of not nah, see, see, with that, not to cut you off, I feel like the reason why people rap about that is because it's 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 one of two things. It's what they influenced by mm -hmm. or it's what you know they really going through wherever they from. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Hip hop is a uh is a is a form of it, form of expression where you know a lot of people from the hood you know was able to talk about you know what they've been through and where they come from and and unfortunately you know growing up in a in in, in a neighborhood that's crazy that's all all people know so yeah of course that's what they're going to talk about you're from harlem right yeah yeah i'm, I'm from queens so i understand <laughs> i understand right Ooh, ah, the ghetto. i get <laughs> i get it 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 um I just, I mean, when I would decide to really have children, I really don't want it to be a situation where, like, damn, like, am I scared for them to leave their house? Like, am I scared for them to do certain things? So, right. I guess it's, you know, pushing that uh, agenda forward. Now, another thing, I, and we're, I just, we're just being very controversial on the show because that's right. what it is. Nah, come on, let's do it. Now, Caucasian people rapping, and how do you feel about that? Um. I feel like that's that's amazing. Like Eminem is one of my favorite rappers. So, <laughs> so I okay. So I like Eminem, but has Eminem has now said the N word? Is that like does he get a pass for that, or like what happens with that? I mean, if uh, now I feel like no white person should get a, a pass for saying the N word. Right, it's just like disrespect. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, just coming from a, a person of color myself. You know what I'm saying? So we shouldn't accept that at no no cost, no matter who it is. But as far as with whichever race is, is rapping, you know what I mean? I don't care if it's a white person chinese person okay whatever, you know what i mean we yeah rap, you rap everybody got a story to tell well because you know some people feel like that rap is black culture mm -hmm. and that a lot of people are taking black culture and using it to their own agenda and then getting it more so mainstream for their own agenda listen like you said earlier like hip-hop is growing you yeah know i mean like it's it, 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 it people know where it started from right you know what i mean but at the end of the day our influence over the culture is like and over the world of course, it, it grew to a point where other people was going to get influenced by it. You right. know what I'm saying? It, it's just that big. You know, there's nothing people could do about it. And I don't know why people be acting so surprised. Like, hip-hop is, like, the largest, you know. It's number one right now. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go. Like, what, what y'all talk about? <laughs> of course, people are going to be influenced. Speaking of influence, now, recently, because this is going to come out in January, but okay. um, nah. back, in, back in December, there was a whole thing about 21 Savage and Nas and how... The younger artists don't really give the older artists like their props like they don't really give the legends their flowers mm -hmm. how do you feel about the legends not getting the respect from younger artists or do you feel like that their time is you know their time like they happen they open the door it's cool but it's time for the younger artists to kind of shine i feel like the, the the newer artists just don't know you mm -hmm. feel me like i feel like a lot of the new artists just started rapping right you know what i'm saying and and look like 21 savage just dropped a a song with with nah so 
You know what I mean? How can you say something with like that and then you go and drop a song with him? So it could also be it could have also been a, a promotion, a promotional, yeah, a yeah. promotional type of thing. But like I was I had a conversation with one of one of my um my friends not too long ago. I said, um, you can't say um Nas is not relevant and then think Jay-Z is. You feel me? Because yeah. they both in the same caliber. So if you're gonna say um, I'm talking this as far as even musically wise, but if you're gonna say Nas is not relevant, I hope you won't feel the same way about Jay Z, which I doubt Tony One Savage would have felt that way. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. I, I agree. Um, I was actually having a conversation with my um stepdad and my brother about the whole Jay Z conversation because I do like Jay Z, right? But personally, if I'm going to like a concert, I want to see perf like performers, like I want to see dance. I'm not paying to see you just like standing around. <laughs> see, I'm Pete personally. That's just I'm on, not doing that. Hold on, hold on, LeBron. See, that's what I'm saying. Now you you must have been to a whole concert. Whole concert. So I dope. went to the on the run tour. And it was it was cool. Like oh, it was it was cool. That was Beyonce though. So but I mean, it was, it was <laughs> that was a wild um crowd though, because like it was like mad aggressive guys, and you had like mad flam. It was a really that was a really cool environment. Like everybody seemed to get along. It was a dope vibe. But I mean, it was it was it was cool. I went to the Kendrick Lamar and Travis Scott and everybody was, you know, mosh fitting. That's cool. Like, I, I just, I, I just, I, you know, I want to see hair. Like, I want to <laughs> see, like, I want to see choreography. Like, that's what I like to see to pay my money for. Like, when I go to a concert of a rapper and it just happens to be. <sighs> but, but when you went to the on the run, that's what I feel like that's all Beyonce is about. I'm sure she had that on the, on the stage when she was performing her, her songs. Yeah, but, but it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't what you was looking for. No, I mean I, I really enjoyed Beyonce's parts. Jay-Z's parts was cool, but I also Jay-Z's parts sometimes were parts I got to sit down. Like oh, it was okay, just okay, it was okay, just it was cool. Okay, like it was it was it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> but you know, much love to Jay-Z, much love to New York. I mean, except I I, I don't really can't listen to Stan 50 Cent. But other than that, oh see there, there, see, here there we go. you go. Now, don't do that because that's my favorite rapper. That's your man. favorite rapper. That's my favorite rapper. Okay. Like that's why I respect M okay. so much. Because if it wasn't for M, it wouldn't be no okay. Fish. We have we have to we have to discuss this. So oh, man. so person aside, I is, is it like just a person or the music? Like which one is it? Like was it both for you? Um that's a trick question because I I, I know you're gonna go. With I'm that. just <laughs> I know you, but I I understand his tactics, so that's why I'm gonna say I'm gonna say both. I'm gonna say both. I'm gonna say both. Okay. I like his music and and and, and the way he handles things sometimes, most of the times. I just okay. Fifty Cent is a cancer. I'm a cancer. Okay. Fifty Cent is from Southside Jamaica Queens. I'm from Southside Jamaica Queens. Okay. So I'm like I'm like we see each other. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I just feel like some of the things that he does social media wise i don't like bullies okay. per, per se and i feel like he can sometimes be a bully can we agree to that or do you feel like he's just defending he, himself that's, yeah that's why i said sometimes you know you do push push the line a little bit but majority of the time i, I understand why yeah but i'm not gonna say every time he's right but yeah i feel like you know what i mean 80 percent of the time i'll be i'll be understanding why if you knew his story i i would i would know why I definitely, I, de I mean, Get, Get Rich or Die Trying is dope. I definitely think how the whole Power series is, is phenomenal. Right. I mean, I'm not, you know, just playing his credit as being a legend. It's just, like, why would you release Tiara Marie's sex tape? Like, that was just not, that was, see, see, that, but, was that was speculations, though. But you he know? posted it. That but, was just. All right. So you never, <laughs> see, so, <laughs> so you never seen something on social media, right? And then was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. And then reposted it. Yes, but not her giving fellatio and getting nutted on. It don't, like it that, don't that, that to me, it's so many things that happen on social media where it's like you don't have nothing to do with it, right? But you could be like, "Oh shit, oh shit, that's crazy," and repost it, and then people backflash on you, like, "Yo, why you posted that? Why you leaked it? I didn't leak it. I'm just reposting what was already out there." I guess. So but, how is but, that but, even wrong? But if that's your friend. And she's already gone through a rough fucking time. And how, you know that, how you know if that was his, his friend, her friend, his friend? No, I'm saying like that was your friend. Like not, not like 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 that. Like say okay, okay. say say you say your homeboy and your homegirl like they they had whatever. Okay. And they like her sex tape was released, and then your other friend posted it. They don't like they don't they don't really know each other like that. Like, how would you feel? I mean, I I feel. Great. Would you post it? I, 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 not if you know if it was close to home and I mm -hmm. know how much it affect that person, but I don't think it was like that with, with 50. They, I mean, he won the case, so Tiara and me still don't say money, but I'm hello? just, <laughs> but you know I mean? that should mean something, you know, right? I just it's and it also could be the whole father situation. Me, I feel like 50 Cent reminds me of my dad, and that could be a whole situation with that. Shout out to, shout out to the Queen's dads out there. Um, yeah, but I really congratulate you though for being a dope father because that's you, thank you, thank you.
Um, it's a lot of black men out here. No, it's not a lot of black men. Fuck that narrative. It's a lot, it's a lot of black men doing their fucking business. So we're gonna congratulate them for um, you know, doing that. I yeah. know that's right. That's right. So moving on from Fifty Cent. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're gonna we'll, we'll be right back with Lamarck's Corner and um, yeah, with we'll Stash Cash. Lamarck's Corner, where I answer all the questions you guys send me, advice, shade, all that good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Lamarck's Corner, Lamarck at the Dark, Stash Cash. It's a lot of Lamarck shit. That's really, is that kind of, is that, nar not narcissistic, is that like to have all these names of like myself, like Lamarck at the Dark, Lamarck's Corner? I don't know. Brand yourself, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one, what's your long-term goal for your career? To be able to successfully make, like make money off of what I enjoy doing, which is music. That's okay. dope. Do you think it should be a cutoff age when it comes to hoeing for men and women? Uh, I think that's early to ask because right now I'm gonna be like, no, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean. But as if I when I get older, I'll probably have a different mindset and be like, nah, I think it's time to slow it down. Do you feel like body count is like a still a, a, a good question to ask somebody, or I feel like that's kind of childish? Uh, that's never a good question to ask somebody. Okay. I feel like people should always keep that shit today. So <laughs> I feel like you should be honest if you have an std of course but yeah. um i do feel like whatever i've done in the past is the past right like that's a, that's a fact if you have an std or something like you you better let me know one thing i yo it's crazy right i don't know if it's only me not to cut you off mm -hmm. but I, I like one thing i do like if i'm finding myself really about to start dealing with somebody and the first thing i do like you know what I mean? We're probably going to date, but after that, it's like before we have sex, our next day got to be the, the doctor. We got to get checked. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? That's definitely a date. I don't know. Me. That's right. <laughs> <You feel me? laughs> yeah. So go go get go get checked out. Don't be out here just, just doing funny stuff, y'all. Yeah, for real. Def definitely get checked out. And, and people that do have STDs or STIs, like, I'm not shaming you. Like, like, like shit happens. Um, it happens. But, um... Yeah, I definitely think it's something to talk about. I don't know if it was is it the first day conversation though? Like, do you like just burn out like, hey, I have so and so? Um, I feel like that would be nice. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. I feel like that would be nice, but I, you know, realistically, I don't feel like people would people would say that. I mean, because you, know, you could still be with somebody who has S C D and not catch it. Like not Yeah, I don't, I don't. Uh, <laughs> next 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 question. Do you look at the person differently if they let you hit it on the first date? Uh nah. We grown. You know what I mean? I feel like if 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 if, if it's the time is right and we liking each other, let's do it. Okay. This yeah. this is a very mature answer. I I was hoping that you know stick you with something, but you you've been really you've been, nah, you've been, come you've been on, yeah. Come on. It's been good. It's been good. Come on. How do you feel about a close friend dating an ex? A close friend. So like if one of my friends is dating one of my old joints. Yep. It depends on how much I like my old joint. Wow, that's a very mature answer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to give you these one, but it's like, nah, that's, no. what, that's what it is. Like, it depends. If I liked her a lot, then it's like, damn, nigga, you know how much I like that you're going to go fuck with her. But if it's like, yeah, if that was just some joint I was just messing with, oh, shit, nigga, you, you hit, I hit that too. I got friends that's like that. that we smashed the same show. Like, at the same time or just? Nah, not at the same time. But, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, he hit that or I hit that too. Hmm. So. I wonder, like, just shit, like, well, I'm sure she knows, like, she knows you guys are friends. She just wanted to have everybody. Uh, it was at two different times in, in her life. Mm. You feel me? So. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I feel like that is just the way of life. Have you ever had sex with any of your friends' exes? Nah, I ain't ever had sex with none of my friends' exes. Okay. What's your sign? I'm Aquarius. Okay. Shout out to the Aquarius. Come on, there. shout out to the Aquarius, man. You know how we are. I've had. I haven't had much experience with Aquarius, but it's it's been cool. I've had one debate with Aquarius, but other than that, it's, it's been pretty chill. Nah, one thing about us, like we cool. I just feel like we we strong minded. You feel me? Like we 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 real strict on how we feel and stuff like that. But overall, I feel like we we good vibe. We good people. Well, you guys are right after what Capricorns. I don't even know anything that's after me or before me. I just know what I am. <laughs> that's a good fucking quote. Next question. <laughs> Is it okay to text your ex while being involved in a new relationship? Absolutely not. Okay. Now, what? Okay. <laughs> so what if you guys ended on good terms? Absolutely not. Like at all? Nah. And, and this is it. like, I, I just, I just, uh -oh. I, like my thing is, right. I feel like if, 
if we still if we still could like be cool like i don't I, me personally all my exes I, I don't talk to like i'll be like once we over there's no spinning the block you feel me if i felt like if we could be cool we would have still been together personally like, now did it all end badly a lot a lot of them i mean not bad to the ex- like to like the extreme but it's like to the point where it's like nah you you made me feel some type of way so i ain't fucking with you no more i mean any story you like to share um let me see what I, it, it don't really be nothing too crazy it's just more like you know people like i dealt with somebody that had the um a baby father or whatever the case may be is and you know i felt like she didn't know how to cut her baby father off you feel what i'm saying mm-hmm. so with that being said it's like i i felt like you wasting my time because all this time we put in together you still don't know how to fully leave your baby father alone like now i feel some type of way because i've been dealing with you for all this time right you, you wasting my time so now i'm not fucking with you that makes sense. That whole, I guess, you know, having children, baby fathers, baby mothers. Right. It's a really tricky situation. It is. It um, is. are you and your your baby mom, you guys are like good or good terms? Yeah, we we called you. Okay. We called you. Um now I guess that's a different circumstance. Like if the person's texting like their ex they have kids together, it's kind of more like you know, they have kids. Yeah, that and this is this is the thing, right? Like with 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 my with my you asked about the situation, like my ex, she her her baby father was still trying to you know, fuck with her. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So she wasn't trying to fuck with him, mm-hmm. but the the I felt like the excuse was like, you know what I mean? Or for the strength of, you know, that being my child's father. It's for the I kids. Like, yeah. But then it's like, he'll still be coming to the house and all this. I'm like, yo, nah, we not doing that. It got to be some type of boundary set here. You feel I agree. what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, you know what? I had to cut that off. Like, because you're not going to say it and play with me. I'm sorry. I, just, <laughs> like, I have a lot of buttons here, and I just like to press them. People that listen to YouTube, they won't hear the buttons, but the people on like the podcast actually version. Shout out to y'all for list, as listening to the audio. Um, yeah, I, I personally, I don't mind being a step parent. I just don't want this whole situation like you're not my dad bullshit because I don't have the time. Right. Um, so <laughs> that's my dad. yeah. I don't. I don't have that. I don't have the time because I'll leave. Really? I'm a. I'm a leaver, and I just don't need your kid disrespecting me. Right. So, we don't got time for that. Facts. Um. But when when you think it's a good time to introduce the person you're dating to your child? I mean, it, it's I feel like realistically people will put a time on it, but only you know when it's right. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like every person analyzes different people differently and stuff like that. So it probably sometimes it might take a month. Sometimes it might take a year. You feel me? I guess it depends on, you know, the person and how they, you know, analyze that person. Me personally, you know what I mean? I feel like being that my son is with me like majority of the time mm-hmm. I, like if i'm dealing with somebody i i, I read people differently I, I see what they do i see how they handle things that, and it, that determines off of like all right this person can meet my child or not you feel what i'm saying so is it something you have to discuss with the mother of your child i used to feel that way but i don't feel that way no more why is that I mean, because at the end of the day, like my son is not a baby no more. He's mm-hmm. about to be eleven, <laughs> so you feel yeah. me? Like, yeah, it's just it's different. You know, what I mean, my son could speak for himself. If right. he be like, "Yo, I don't like her," he, "Daddy, I don't like her." Yeah, you know what I mean, whether when if it, when it was a baby, it was a little different. Hmm. When he was a baby, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. I mean, I have a step parent, and he's been in my life since I was um, about twelve. Okay. But my dad hasn't really been the best. So shout to the child. <laughs> It's a, huh. Nah, that's crazy because even like I got I got a stepmom that been in my life since I was three months. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Saying her and my pops are still together till this day. They they look at my birthday as their anniversary. So every time that's my dope. birthday come around, they be like, "Oh yeah, you've been together for this." Yeah, I ain't gonna say my age, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's also, but that's my birthday. Like that's not you lose fat. Let's not get, like, yeah, let's yeah, not yeah. Get let's, not, let's, not, let's not get it fucked up. Hello. Um, right. but yeah, I definitely think that in my. I mean, I'm about to be 28 this okay. year. So, um, yeah, I feel like the step parent thing is happening quicker than it's you know it's gonna happen. Or I can like adopt or do the surrogate route, but um, I don't trust any of my friends to have my baby. Uh, hey, man, like I said, everybody know different. You know, know when the right person and when the right time. I just, I just feel like it should have to buy a baby. You know, like that's that's a lot for me. Um, yeah, buy. Wait, when you say it like that, that is crazy. Because I have to buy the baby. Like I have to buy the egg and I have to buy the surrogate. Yeah, see that that's crazy. I, I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So if you I, get fucked up, bitch. I bought you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Like that's Yo. um. So 
yeah, I guess we'll we'll um we'll revisit. I'll let you know how about the process goes. Yeah, let me know I, how that goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these are the questions I ask for every guest. So, Bing Bong, your favorite type of porn? Um, ebony. Like I love any any ebony, but a fat ass. No okay. Bullshit. Favorite position? Front and back. So like, doggy style. Yep. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. A lot of guys like that. Is that like a, like is that? Is that painful? I need to have a girl in here and ask her. Like, because <laughs> like, I've had, we had an episode where um, My Pussy Matters and the girls are talking about like the whole, I need to have that. Have a straight guy come, a straight woman come and just like see how like that goes. How that works. Right. Because I don't, this is not my life. Like, I don't know <laughs> how what goes on in the straight world. So it'll be very interesting to get that aspect. I was very intrigued with the My Pussy Matters episode because I never knew certain things that they went through with the whole you wait, you you had two people, you had the, the I had two up? women. No, I just had two women here, and oh. they talked about just how you know how they come and like how certain guys don't please them in certain ways, and how they have like um like it's been times where certain guys do certain things that wouldn't work out, like you know, giving head, all that good stuff. Like I really okay. did not know how how much it comes down to the vagina. Yeah, females is a is a lot. <laughs> it's like a science project. And I just I yeah, I don't unless you know how to do it right. I know how to do it right. You know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not a science project for me. But isn't like every girl different? Like every vagina is different. I mean, you'll have to ask the, the, the female, but yeah. I mean, I feel like if you know how to do it, you know how to do it. Everybody body works the same, I think, for a female. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> huh, okay, head <laughs> or full on fucking? Uh Nah, you can give me the pussy. Okay. Give me the pussy. Something sexual you still want to try? I want a threesome. You never tried a threesome? Never had a threesome. Wow. I feel like females be stingy when it comes to me. They they just want me to they self. Have you ever dated a girl, a girl that was bi? I haven't. See, me? yeah, I maybe dated a girl that's bi and then have that. Wow. Yeah. Man, you just gave me an idea. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a lot of bi. Well, are you single? I am. Oh, okay. Well, I have a lot of bi bisexual friends. All right, let's send them. I'll send them. Let them know, like, yo, what's up, baby? I'm but are man. you like looking for something you just you just want to smash? Because then I feel like that's putting the message. Like, like, <laughs> is it just a good night, or are you just trying to like? I, I, I want to try having having a threesome with two females. Okay. So what's but what's like your type? You just gotta look good and be be clean. You know what I'm saying? But what's look good to you? I don't discriminate. I feel like, I feel I like, like you're being safe. I, 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 you try, I, like, like, I, I like them more. Like if, if you look good, good to me, and you, you know what I mean, you clean. Come here, baby. I don't, I don't discriminate. I like my, my 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 chocolate, my my Puerto Ricans. You know, I even throw a little little white in there sometimes. You know what I mean, I don't discriminate. Okay, we're we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get more into that. Um, <laughs> next question: freakiest thing you ever done? Um, the freakiest thing I ever done. Probably eighty fem eight a female ass. Okay, and your freak number one through ten. What it would what would it be and why? Um, mm, I say it's probably like a six. Damn, I don't, I don't get I don't get too crazy. Is that like a pref like a is that a preference for you or you just you just like to just yeah show? Cause, yeah because my 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 dick work. Okay, you feel me? So I ain't gotta get too all extravagant. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel that. I feel that. Now, before we end this this whole segment, back to like you saying the clean. So <laughs> use your type because I'm I feel like I'm trying to help you. You know, women will see this. I'm trying to help them understand like what exactly your type. You say you like everybody, but I feel like you're lying a little bit. Nah. Like there, there has to be. So you like thicker girls, smaller girls, or you're just for everyone. If you look good. Like I said, <laughs> and you clean. Like I don't like no dirty females. Like okay. don't come over here. You know what I mean? Smelly. You ain't got your shit together. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't doing that. You know what I mean? I, and some, some, even uh -oh. like you said, thick girls. You feel me? Like, I'm not too, too fond of the thick girls. But once again, if you look good to me, like, mm -hmm. I take a thick girl down too. But okay. It's all about your, your, your presence, your aura. You feel me? So that's right. That's right. That's dope. We'll be back, y'all, with Sash Guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Lamarck after dark. Right now is Lamarck's rant. Um, I'm gonna keep naming segments after me because Stash Cash said I fucking could. So, <laughs> my rant this week is gonna be industry friends. I feel like people are fake as fuck, and I feel like the industry is faker as fuck. And I feel like being entertainment is just shitty. Um, 
what are your how has your entertainment life been my, as far as friends i feel like i'm not gonna lie i feel like i've met some of my closest friends being in the entertainment business um you know it, it came a point where it's like i had to you know separate my home friends from my entertainment friends because you know sometimes people just have to you know level up a bit not saying you know you know my friends my home friends is not leveled leveled up but you know you sometimes you just gotta you know move move up from that and I've, I've met some dope people in, in, in the industry, which is now people that actually works with me directly that I talk to every day that, you know, when I'm down and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I don't want to do this shit no more. It's like, yo, mm -hmm. stash, like, come on, don't stop. We, we got this to do. We got it. It's always us. Right. us. You feel me? And you know, that's, that's, that's the most important thing. Like the most amazing thing to me ever just to have people like that in your corner. That's rooting for you. That believe in you. That's, you know, down with you. Do you think it's easy to work with your friends or do my, you kind of keep that separate? My home friends or my industry friends? Industry friends. Um, nah, my industry friends is, is my team. That's the people that I, I um work best with. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's hard working with my home friends. <laughs> 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 and why is that? Because there's certain things they, they you know, they're not privy to that I feel like they just don't get sometimes. Like I come with some ideas and it's like nah bro we, we can't do that like or it's like just let's just do it they don't understand the uh, the process behind it whereas you know if i bring it to like my industry friends it's like all right cool this is how we're going to execute it and we're going to do it even if we feel like we can't you know what i mean so, yeah no it's definitely dope i've had some bad experiences working with industry friends it's just it gets to, to be too much um i feel like we all have different brands mm -hmm. and certain things that i may not feel like it's cool for my brand but you may feel like it's cool for your brand so instead of us like you know it, it becomes a conflict of interest mm -hmm. for certain things um i know i had a situation a couple of months ago where i was helping a friend with their show and i just felt like i was doing a lot for the least and um like not to toot my own horn but i do a lot of different shit right and um i felt like you were trying to sun me and i hate when someone tries to like sun me in the industry like they try to be like well you know you should do so and so like give me unsolicited advice right like bitch i do like what you want to do for a job like don't 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 don't, don't. Go, right i get it you know you know one thing i one thing i do like in in like in regards to that mm -hmm. like me being a rapper right like when i first started like working on you know building a team and being around different creatives like i had a lot of people that do the same thing as as me as such as you know other rappers and right. singers and stuff I cut that out early because I did, I, I wanted to like take that conflict of interest thing out. So yeah. what I did was like really just start tapping in with people that do different things. That way we all could like benefit from each other. So for example, I have like a, a creative director and then I got a photographer and then I got somebody that does, you know, the DJ. So we it's like whatever, like we all do different things, but like we all, when it's time to come together, we come together and, and come up with, with plans. Like I, last week, we just had a, a a vision board party where, you know what I mean? We just all was at my house and we all, you know, came up with like a plan of what was what's next going into the new year. And like I said, we all do different things, but yeah. we all put each other in a pocket where it was like we all could help each other. That's dope. Also, you feel me? So I, I we will. ain't step on nobody's toes because we don't do the same thing anyway. I, I wasn't invited to New Year's party, but it's fine. Oh, man. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I'm going to invite you to the next one, Lamar. It's, it's all right. I, I, I know where I started. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to invite you to the next one. I got you. It's, it's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, industry has just been, it's been very, um, it's been very fickle, I want to say. I have a lot of acquaintances that do some of the same things I do. And it's very like, oh, well, you should do this. Or you should do like, it's very, uh, uh, uh. And I don't want to give too much away because people are listening and I don't, I hate to burn bridges, right. especially in this industry because the industry is so small and everybody uh -huh. knows everybody. Mm -hmm. So I just try to kill them with kindness and be the best me I could possibly be. I also feel like people that don't like to give other people, other people opportunities, I feel like that's whack. We're all different. We all bring something different to the table. I'm right. always trying to help the next person shine or, you know, give advice. And if they, if they ask for it, I'm not the one that gives unsolicited advice because I don't like unsolicited advice. Right. But, um, yeah, the end of the mark after dark. Before we go, the song of the night is Stash Cash, one for you. And we're going to ask Stash Cash things that are one for him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I kind of hate that fucking intro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have to find something new 
but um, it's just so corny. But whatever. <laughs> so we we kind of touched on your love life a little bit, like you said, you're single, right? But we didn't talk about your past a little bit. Okay. So why are you single? I feel like I just, I just feel like it's, it's nobody out there for me right now. I feel like I'm 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 focused. You feel me? I feel like a relationship is distracting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like when I'm in a, I'm the type of person if I'm in a relationship, I'm 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 fully invested. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I can't I can't it's hard for me to do both. It's hard for me to maintain a professional uh rap career and then also be in a relationship. Are you a cheater? Um, I'm not a cheater. That's why I don't want to do that. Okay. You feel me? All right. I mean, shout out to the cheaters out there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the perfect one for you, who would that be and why? The perfect one for me? Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not too sure who, like in the, in the ideal world, I just feel I, I'd be like somebody that I could trust. You know what I mean? Um, somebody that has the same interest as me mm-hmm. I, it's, I won't say i want her to be a rapper but you know have some type of drive you know you know be creative if i bring something to your attention you know what i mean inspire me motivate me to want to you know right. push the envelope don't just be there you feel what i'm saying like okay if you had to pick like a beyonce to your jay-z who would it be in the industry and why in the industry mm-hmm. like a like a rapper right now uh, well, a female singer. Uh oh. I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. I, I wouldn't even answer that because I don't know none of these people. See, that is shout out to you. I don't have a um. I don't have a button for that. But shout out <laughs> to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know none of these people. I can say anybody, and they fucking around and be crazy. <laughs> That's very fucking true. All these celebrities are really fucking crazy. Um, yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> but stash, I really appreciate you for coming on the show. Thanks for I really having. Me. Appreciate. You know, you for I think this is like the third time you've been on the show. Yeah. Well, one of my one of my projects. So right. I appreciate that. And you came with no hesitation. So that's really dope for me. And I appreciate that. You no, know, I'm always one call away, Lamarck. Always. Anything you like to say to the people before we head out? Uh, man, just make sure if y'all don't have me already, follow me on social media, stash cash official. Um my 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 Twitter, one stash cash. And also I have a new single out. It's called One For You. It's available on all streaming platforms. So tap in with that. All right. All right, guys, and we'll see you next week. Well, I'll see you next week. Stash will be at the parties that I'm not invited to. Um, oh, there you go, man. I, and, I told y'all to invite you to the next Yeah, one, the next man. one. I'll let y'all know. All right, guys, we out.